Hey everyone, welcome to Weekend Project. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mama Pop Quilt Shop and we're very happy to see you here today. We're working on something Eastery because it's Easter weekend. Uh, and I saw this cute little thing on Pinterest. I tried clicking the page, it was no source, so I, I couldn't find any more than just a picture. So, and it was of a cloth piggy bank. So I thought, well, we can make a bunny bank. Sounds kind of fun to me. So I did, I just went and searched um, coloring books, so like for rabbits and for pigs and to get that basic design of what you're looking for and then you can always highlight any bits like the, for the ear and around the leg and stuff like that for to give it a little bit of dimension. And this is a no fray fabric so I thought it'd be great to use for felt or denim and you can use your pinking shears if you find a lovely fabric that you want to use and you don't want it to fray as much then use some pinking shears and just clip away and I think it'd be just as cute. So and I put a little pocket to be able to put some change in there. I should have put some change in there, but I didn't. Okay, and I gave it, of course, a little tail. And what you want to do when you're laying your pattern out, your little template, you want to make sure that the right sides together or the wrong sides are together so you can get two, of the two that are going to match up. You don't want two that are just going to face this way or it's going to look like the piggy's on the wrong way. So you have to make sure that they are going to match up in the end, okay? And of course, you can make a little handle on this. You can hang it on your um, the bedroom door or you can hang it off of one of the dressers for the kids or something like that. And that can be their little change for their collecting of their house or chores or something like that. Who knows? I don't know. I'm sure you could think of something. I don't know. I just thought it'd be kind of fun and a great way to use some of this fabric. I have a huge bolt of this. I've made lots of pillows and lots of dog beds and I thought, what else could I use this for? So I am trying to be in a little inventive. So I found this cute little bunny one and I traced it out. I just put my piece of paper up to my monitor and of course it's a coloring book so they're free to use and uh, just did a little drawing. So I can either leave these drawings out or I can add it to the rabbit once finished, or I can stitch it. I could stitch it with thread, embroidery floss, I could use markers, I could use beads, I could do whatever I wanted to to, to highlight the bunny. I think it would be fun to do it on the egg, that's for sure. Okay. And then the whiskers you could use as yarn. Uh, same with the tail on the piggy, you could easily just use yarn with it, put a button for the eye, but I would put the button before you go and sew it all around. So it's only on the one side, it'll only be on the front side, right? And same with the, these guys, if you want to have buttons for eyes there, uh, sew it on the front side, okay? So just some, some tips. All right, so I've traced it out here. What I did is I just laid it, so I have my right sides together. So I'm when I get it, when I get it to go sew around, I'm gonna have two of the same. Though this was easier, but you really want to think of things when they're a little bit more complicated, like the one fa facing the one-way pig instead of the straight-on view, okay? So now that we have that all traced out and pinned, take my scissors. These are not fabric scissors. I use them for paper and for tougher fabrics. It's a, I like it because it's got a nice sharp tip on it, and, um, and they, they seem pretty tough. So, And this is kind of a thick material, too. It's like a faux suede. And then just take your time. Take your time cutting it around, moving the material, moving the scissors. You may have to get a couple different pairs of scissors involved, maybe some with a little tighter um, uh, snip to it, especially if you've got a blunt nose scissors or something like that. But just take your time. And of course, I blew this up to a size that I would like. You could make them smaller. You can make them bigger. You can make it as a flat, uh, you know, stuffy. You, you can stuff one side and still make a bank. You know, that sort of, I don't know, there's many ideas. The only limitation is your imagination. Just have some fun. It's going to be a beautiful weekend. Can't wait. Well, it's going to be maybe a little wet, but that's okay. April showers bring May flowers. All right, just cut it out. Give that round shape. You know, because it's in an egg. Of course, you could just do like a bunny cutout. That's up to you. Well, maybe use the ears as a handle. You could easily take a piece of yarn or fabric to go from one ear to the other and make it as a little handle, a little purse, a little bunny purse. And just cutting that out. Okay. Try and keep the bulks off as, so you're not fighting with it. Now I've got the around the egg, now I just kind of work my way around the ear. And I did add a little fluffy bit for like some <laughs> pretend hair. <laughs> it's like a weird toupee for a bunny rabbit, but whatever. <laughs> it is what it is. It's cute. I think it's cute. Okay. 
And great way to maybe use up some of those weird fabrics you're just not quite sure of. Make something different. I think it would make really good bag material too, but I haven't yet made a bag. I've made a few things, but not a bag. Like I said, great use for felt. Not sure what to do with some felt. Maybe some weird fabric you got and it just, it doesn't fray. You're not too sure what it is. <laughs> All right, now that we have those the same size, we take our pins out. And what we wanna do is we wanna make sure we're putting a hole in the back of one of them because uh, one of them's gonna be the face and one of them's gonna be the back, okay? So we'll just take one here because they are both the same and try and get a nice, even, we don't want to slant, okay, or if you want to slant, do, do whatever you like. I was trying to go for like a straight line. So I'm just going to go and line this up here. And I want to kind of a little bit towards the top of the head so we could probably fill up the egg at some point in time with some cold hard coin cash. And then just draw a straight line. And then what you want to do with this line is you want to cut along it, but then cut a little on this side and this side and this side and this side to almost like you were doing a zipper, like enclosing a zipper. And then those little flaps are going to get sewn under just like this. And that's how, how going to stabilize that uh, hole. Okay. So easy. All right. So we'll just take this and we'll do a little snip on the line get ourselves through and then we'll cut to the end and then cut that little that little V separation okay because we kind of want to give ourselves a little triangle just a little doesn't have to be big or anything like that see just just like that I'm gonna do that on the same side over here okay I'm just gonna flip it and do a little trim and go there because you know some coins are big now especially in Canada the toonie is a big coin so we want to make sure it's going to fit in there <laughs> and then we just take those little flaps and tuck them back and sew them down okay now this is where you can use very much decorative thread um, you know the choice is up to you all right so I'm just going to use white okay. Move over here meet that little genie and then tuck that back and then just give it a little stitch down. Might have to get a pin involved, but it should be okay. So what I did, I did the sides first, gave a little back stitch, the two longer sides, and then I went back and worked on the two narrower sides. Okay. But that was just because it was easier for me to Tack the big ones in space first, in place first. Okay, see, now we have that. So then we'll take these little guys and tuck them in. Okay. Did I pull this thread out? Of course I did. <laughs> of course I did. Why wouldn't I? All right, now I'll get the little side parts here. They don't need much, just a couple of stitches to keep them in place. Um, just it's, uh, gotta make sure they stay in place. Come here, you. <laughs> it's not listening. It's a tiny little piece. Our little uh, giraffe creation is coming along just fine behind me. Making my little army of giraffes. <laughs> and then we'll do the same over on this side. Just kind of hold it out of the way and tack it down with a couple of stitches. Perfect. Okay, now we can always trim those little bits and bobs up, which we're gonna have to clean them up anyways. Okay, so let's take those little threads off there. Clean up the front a bit, or, well, the front of it, but it is going to be the back of the bunny. Okay. Okay, there we go. That's a nice little hole. Lots of little coins and dollars can be folded and tucked in there. 
<laughs> hint, hint, wink, wink, that's nice. Okay, so if you wanted to, you could draw out uh, the facial expression on the front of this bunny uh, any way that you like, or you can, like I said, you can stitch it or something like that. Um, it's completely up to you. I kind of want to give them a little bit more um, depth and dimension in the ear. So we'll go like this, just so it looks a little like an ear. And then we want to give them some eyes. Now this is a great way to use buttons. It's a great way to put a button on here. And then we'll define his hair a little bit here. And it's a little weird way, okay. And then we want to give him a nose. I'm not the best at drawing a bunny, but I do I do try. Okay, and you can always give him like uh, either draw the whiskers, or you can always um, um, use uh, thread too. So okay, and then we're give him a little shoulder, a little shoulder, and then define. Cracking of the egg, make it any way you like. It's a cracking of the egg, okay. There we go, and then you can always design it out. Okay, you could put circles. You know, this would be a great project to do with the kids for over Easter to change their little project that they're drawing on and change it into a little bank or a little stuffy. Um, something, something would be, I think that would be fun. Something fun like that. Okay, now I'm just, I'm just making up stuff, Sarah, but I just wanted to fill it in at least a little bit. So you kind of get that, you you know, fill up the egg a bit. Okay, so there we go. There's the first. <laughs> it's the best, but I have fun. All right, now you want to put the two wrong sides together, okay, and it should line up perfectly because you did pin them and you cut nice and exact. So there's our front, there's our back, or there's our front, there's our back. And we want to put our nice big pins in here. These are pins that I use for the long arm. And we're just going to come in and stitch up about a quarter and an eighth, whatever in between there, all the way around to seal it all up, okay. You could put an extra pom pom or make a little pom pom or sticker right on the back there for his little for his little tail. Um, just endless. Like I said, put a little string from here to here. You can hang it up. It can be a hanging purse or it can be a hanging bank. Just have some fun. Okay, I'm going to start on the bottom. So when I can cross over stitches, it's like kind of more on a straight edge instead of a, a like one of these curved ones up here or on a tight spot. So I'm just going to kind of ride the edge of my quarter inch foot a little bit in. So I'm trying to get in between those two in a quarter and an eighth. And just take your time, put her around. And if you didn't want to sew, maybe you could glue. Maybe you could glue the fabrics together or you could use a nice big uh, blanket stitch to seal it all the way around. You could uh, poke holes in it and the kids could use a nice big uh, needle and thread and stitch it all the way around. There's, there's lots, there's lots. Have them partake in it as much as possible. And, and don't forget to lift your foot as much as you need to work away around any curves or tight spots. Okay. Stitches and do the inner part of the ear. Yeah, there's lots of shapes that are free out there on the internet, and you could easily just take a eight by ten piece of paper, and if it's on a computer monitor, take a little bit of scotch tape, put it at the top of the monitor, not touching the. the the glass front at all, but the plastic part of the monitor, and uh, get, trace it out. Or if you have coloring books at home, take inspiration from those. Or make up your own. I'm not that smart. <laughs> okay. oh, you 
a couple more stitches too because it wasn't going to give me enough up on this side to be able to stitch it together. And this would be cute with a colorful thread, a variegated thread or anything like that. That would be nice as well. You, know, you want to make it as bright as possible and as colorful as possible. Go one more stitch, yeah. Take that curve, side of the bunny head. Okay, back to finish off the top of the cracked egg. everything stayed together it should be sealed all the way around and then we cross over our stitches that we originally started on okay take our big pins out we could do some little trim and zuppins and there we go it's not the cute little bunny bank and then just load it up. And that's a lot, you can hold a lot in there. It's like a little leather satchel sort of thing or a little leather change purse sort of thing. But it's a big one, you can keep collecting. <laughs> well, I hope you guys make one. Make one for you, make one for me. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I think they're kind of cute. And you like it, you can always stuff them if you just want to stuff them. You can uh, have a faux material in here and do like a layer of batting. You could do lots of things to add texture and dimension to them. So thank you everybody for watching, liking, and subscribing. Don't forget to check us out on Patreon and tomorrow during our live stream at 1 p.m. Eastern every Saturday. Uh, and don't, you can join the live chat. Okay, take care. Have yourself a fabulous day. We'll see ya. Bye-bye. Happy Easter.